some two people of my age were calling me Dynasty. One had watched the, the video where I said that uh, we used to have a police Land Rover pick us from school to home daily. Another one called me a dynasty because he saw my standard one third term picture where not only was I putting on shoes, but I was putting on shoes with stockings and white of all colors. Well, if I what I'm going to tell you, then you'll say I'm dynasty of dynasties. People of my age will 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 not believe what I'm going to say. And also young people of uh, a few decades later will also be surprised. If I say during my around standard six class 6 or grade 6 I used to eat chapati almost daily especially weekends I'm sure many viewers will say eh hata kama naongeaga ukweli leo ai but it is true I want to quickly bring you into the picture uh people who are in their 30s and below will be shocked to hear at at sasa huyu msee anasema nakula chapati kila siku sasa chapati ni kitu ya kuongea si angesema kitu kama pizza <laughs> but let me tell you during my time we, <laughs> pizza was not at a dictionary ya kuandika pizza had not arrived today it is cheaper to eat chapati daily than ugali. The other time, unga was 200 and something. And the goodness with chapati is that uh, you just take chapati with a cup of milkless tea. And there you have your meal. But uh, a few months ago, unga was 250. Uh, tomatoes today you can find one one piece of tomato at 20 shillings so you find that um, in today's time organizing to have ugali and me beef and skuma and whatever is very expensive it is even cheaper to have chapati so you'll find uh, a, a person of 30 years and below wondering why this fellow is boasting about eating chapati daily, and that is the poor man's food. As for those of my age, those are 763, standard 7, form 6, and university 3 years. If I told you that I used, all weekends I used to eat chapati, all weekends, and some weekdays, the fellow, fellow will say, ah, this fellow, uh, leo, leo medanganya. Because those days, chapati and rice used to be eaten at a maximum of 10 times a year. 10 times a year. In a, that is a maximum. Anybody having chapatis or rice, and this is what I'm saying, f rice five times, chapati five times in a year. And this one used to come during uh, Easter, Christmas, and birthdays. That is when chapatis and rice were. Actually, where I come from, I've even got people slightly older than me who, when they talk, you know, Kenyans say, uh, there's a time when people are saying millions were poured by my political enemies to finish me. And today you find politicians, when you you say something that they don't agree with, they say, Amo menunuliwa. Amo menunuliwa. But during our younger days, uh, they used to say, Huyu anaka, especially where I come from, Huyu anaka ni kama alienda kwa fulani naka 
kula michele. <laughs> Today, telling somebody about eating rice, and I don't know, I am not a good cook, but I remember rice those days used to be cooked in a very funny way. Nowadays, you just boil water, place there rice, maji kisha, <laughs> Our time, rice would be cooked, I remember, some, they would cover the sufuria with a, a big uh, 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 metallic uh, cover, and then they place there some hot uh, charcoal on top of it. If I, <laughs> You'll find a, lo a lot of charcoal placed on top of that. I don't know how to heat on the upper. It used to be that. But it used to be eaten either by rich people or only during very special uh, very special occasions. That is why people who are in their 70s today, you tell him something or you tell her something that um, he or she is not happy and then he or she looks at you and says, Ama madu yuangu wamekupikia mchele. If I have to say it in vernacular, I say, Unafuwa nekeda ba, Achire yoba alie mchele. So eating rice and uh, also eating chapati was a delicacy that was very rare. And how did I come to be eating regularly? You know Madaraka Estate, there were 46 flats from MF1 to MF46 with about 570 or 580 houses. House, houses, yeah. And very few houses had three things. One, the frying pan. Two, the rolling stick. And three, there is this circular thing that you used to roll chapati on. So, we could find somebody ringing the bell to our house. You open, somebody comes. Mama Jemo, <laughs> nimetumwa uh, vitu ya chapati. And you know, birthdays are different. Each person has a different birthday because there are those who are born Every day, everybody, every, every day there is a birthday. So whoever has a birthday, they knew that my mom had those three things. So somebody would come, ring, my age mate. And then, Mama Koyuko, is your mom there? I call my mom. Mom says, eh, my mom is requesting that you give her the equipment to prepare chapati. And my mother would give would give me and that boy. You know, it was so, it was a treasure. You give that boy, it gets lost, it will be, bring a problem. So I had to escort this boy to his home while we were with those three things. And I would make sure it has, because my mom used to say, make sure this boy's mother has received the, Items. I don't want tomorrow to be told uh, I didn't send the boy, so whatever. So I would go with the boy and make sure that the mother has received those three things. Then I would go back home. Going back home, the following day, you know, this system of borrowing things, <laughs> you find that uh, somebody borrows something from you, but forgets to return unless you go and demand it. So the following day, my mom would tell me, go and bring back our, our equipment. I would go there, find uh, my friend's mother very happy. Hey, karibu, karibu, sit down. <laughs> As I sit down, she would go bring a chapati. It's still in my memory because I remember... She could cut the chapati. She would first of all fold it into a letter D. D for Denmark. She would lay, fold it that way and then cut into uh, cut it again and give me and me give me something to wash it down. Yeah. Ah, my, my my son, don't be you're short, don't be in a hurry. <laughs> don't be in a hurry. Yeah. Have this. Will you have it with a soda or will you have it with the tea or whatever? 
Then after eating that one chapati, she would give me the equipment, the three. And then, you know, the, the packet that uh, the chapati, the, uh, the, the wheat flour was in, she would place there two or three chapatis there and tell me to go the, with them back home. And I would go back home and share with my siblings. Funny thing, the flour then did not have a name. It just had a windmill there, produced by Unga Limited. Hey, waze ukumbuka. Ciao.